Good evening. What's going on there, guys? It is Earthmaster here on the live stream on this beautiful Saturday evening, September 4th is the date, 2021, about 8.02 p.m. California time. The latest quake on the globe is going to be a 2.5 up around the Alaska region. What's going on out there this weekend? Hope everyone's having a safe and enjoyable weekend. Let me tell you, it's pretty crazy out there traffic-wise. It just got back from... Uh, south lake tahoe uh i did a little bit of a i don't want to use the word touring around but it did a little bit of a uh, investigative journalism while i was up there i know uh it's a beautiful city uh beautiful town lake tahoe is south lake tahoe and uh from what i could see the the town is untouched from the fire just a couple small spot fires just outside of town uh that it looks like the firemen are working on but uh, yeah, pretty tired. It was a pretty uh, interesting trip up there, let me tell you. So what do we got going on out here? A lot of movement taking place out here along the Indonesia area. Looks like uh, that was kind of odd. Maybe the USGS does not want me looking at their maps. All I did was zoom in like that, okay. Okay, that was kind of weird. A lot of movement around the Indonesia area. Also along the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire including the Solomon Islands, down through Fiji, Vanuatu, uh, Vanuatu area, down through New Zealand. Actually, I believe this 5.0 was from last night. Yes, if I remember correctly, it was because we did an update about it. So that's just about ready to drop off the 24-hour threshold. I figured I'd, I'd do a uh, little bit earlier on time. Uh, we're still kind of late, right? Normally, I do it around 6.37. Uh, 7 o'clock my time here along California, but uh, it's all good. We get At least we're getting an update in. So there's all that movement taking place throughout the Indonesia area. This area has been relatively quiet yesterday and the day before, but today definitely a different story as we're seeing some, uh, some moderate movement taking place throughout the, the region, including a 5.0 near Papua New Guinea. That's uh, kind of a deep earthquake in that region, 160 kilometers. And then another one right next to it at uh, 67 kilometers, a little bit larger, 5.3. We did see some further deep movement into the Fiji Islands area at 597 kilometers for a 4.2 right in this area. I mean, this area is, every time I look at this area, it's like, yep, deep earthquakes, deep earthquake activity. It's kind of where it all begins, folks, kind of like the beginning of the movement when it comes to deep earthquake activity. But uh, definitely some movements taking place here today, folks, throughout the uh, Indonesia region, stretching up, even up towards the Japan area. Guam, little earthquake down here, 5.3, 8.7 kilometers. Nothing significant, but we are seeing a little bit of uptick on the Mariana Trench, uh, while the uh, Kamachaka Trench, the Kuril Trench up here along the uh, uh, Pacific Ring of Fire, remains very quiet, including, let's go ahead and add the uh, all magnitudes. My voice seems a little crack crackly because I was up in the smoke for the majority of the day today. It's pretty smoky. And uh, that's just, uh, you know, those little bitty masks don't do, uh, they don't really knock out the smoke or the particles. So I just deal with it. I'll be fine. Um, so yeah, not a whole lot of movement along the Aleutian Trench area. Very quiet, as I mentioned, down through this region right here. Once again, but uh, all indications uh, looking at a lot of potential for uh, larger quakes within this vicinity here. Looking at the last, what do we got here for at least the most recent quake right around the in Indonesia area, western side, kind of works its way towards the west from the east. That's kind of what we're looking at right now. We did see one up here around the China area way earlier, uh, but I still expect to see some further movement in this region here especially with the deep earthquake activity adjustment down below. Uh, we should also see some adjustment up here to the northwest. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, looking over here towards the Mediterranean, pretty quiet. The Atlantic Ridge, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, all quiet until we get down to the South Sandwich Islands. Uh, still seeing some movement, not as significant as in the past, but 5.1, the largest uh, earthquake in the sequence here. Some further deep movement taking place. South America, this place was really quiet last night. Remember, we had no earthquake activity to report. 
We're seeing a renewed deep movement along the Peru-Chile Trench, the subduction zone. Once again, 222 kilometers for this 4.2. That was uh, first, and then afterwards, oh, by about an hour, it looks like maybe. We had a little bit more shallower earthquake up here to the north by a couple few hundred miles, I should say. 4.3 in Peru at 21 kilometers below the surface. So some adjustment taking place down there as well. But looking at the overall picture, at least from last night's standpoint, things kind of calming down, at least within the North American plate here along the West Coast and the South America region um, compared to over the past week or so. But we are seeing, look at this activity up here, folks. A little cluster of quakes uh, right smack dab on this, uh, what is that? Yakutat? Man, I probably slaughtered that. But uh, if I did, you know what to do, right? Leave me a comment. <laughs> anyway, it's on this uh, little fault system here. Kind of close to the plate boundary of the Pacific uh, North American plate, it looks like. Here's a... Uh, Oh, that's a transition fault right there. But, um, yeah, a little, little bit of uh, swarming going on here. Nothing significant at the moment. It doesn't look like 3.5, 4.1. Uh, just a cluster of variable quakes. Fairly shallow as well. Uh, might be an area to watch pretty uh, closely. Uh, like I said, there's not a whole lot going on throughout the Alaska region, except for in this little swarming area right there close to the Gulf of Alaska. Uh, through Canada down into the Pacific Northwest remains remains relatively quiet. We did have a 4.0 earthquake off the coast of Oregon. Oh, a few hours ago, midday, probably my time. This earthquake striking about 10 kilometers below the surface around the Blanco Fracture Zone. Cascadia sits right over here, folks. Off the coast of Oregon, Washington, Vancouver, and Northern California. Uh, looking at Northern California, there's not a whole lot of movement to report, folks. Uh, this was way earlier, 1.6. And uh, for the most part, activity dying down across the Northern California region, uh, including, if you look over here, we're not seeing a whole lot of movement here into the uh, Antelope Valley area. Long Valley Super Volcano still kind of showing some activity, just some microquakes. But compared to last night, things uh, calming down there as well. Um, as well as out in Nevada. So regionally as a whole, at least here into the Northern California area, uh, probably around the, we, cut off, we can do a cutoff line here, just south of uh, probably San Jose uh, to the east, northward, looks to be calming down. At least, not, not completely calming down, at least calming down compared to last night. Uh, Ridgecrest, still seeing some movement, folks. A little bit of swarming outside of Lake Isabella into the mountains here. Garlock Fault Structure sits down here to the south. There's not a whole lot of movement on that uh, at the moment. And the Sleeping Monster down here in the Southern California region, known as the San Andreas Fault, is currently still sleeping peacefully. Let's not try to wake her up. A little, little bit of swarming outside of, uh, what's this, San Jacinto Fault area up here in the mountains. A bunch of uh, little clusters here. It's microquakes popping off. Looks mostly around five to six kilometers uh, downstream below the surface. Uh, what else we got, folks, in the Intermountain West region? With the, the thing is that you know you got to take notice here is that due to the lack of well, you know I, I'd say tectonic plate pressure along the West Coast, North American Pacific plate interaction, things calm down into the Intermountain West and Texas and Oklahoma area seen a dramatic decrease in earthquake activity in Oklahoma and Texas just today uh, compared to yesterday when we've seen uptick of activity along the west coast, Intermountain West, and uh, we even had that, uh, what was it, 2.9 that struck up there in to Yellowstone. Uh, that's, well, it looks like they upgraded it to a 3.0. This came in uh, right about the time I was doing an update video last night. But uh, since then, we haven't seen any... Uh, further earthquake activity and things appear to be for right now calming down along the North American plate. Same in the Puerto Rico area, not a whole lot moving on, uh, moving, not a whole lot going on folks. Uh, way up north, way up, way up north, we've got a 4.4 kicking off. Greenland, Iceland area, don't see a whole lot of movement up here. Not too deep, 13 kilometers. 
So yeah, big big uh, big X marks the spot right here for now. New Zealand really hasn't seen anything up uh, on the uptick from last night's uh, 5.0 there. Looks pretty quiet, at least according to the USGS. Check out the Yellowstone thumbnails here, and you guys can see that 2. Well, 3.0 upgraded by the USGS, almost past that 24-hour period. So it's way up here at the top of the chart. Not a whole lot of further movement. Looks like maybe one or two smaller earthquakes than the 3.0. Uh, that took place over the last 24 hours, but no significant swarming yet. And it uh, looks pretty uh, mellow for the most part there at Yellowstone National Park. Checking out the trimmer into the Pacific Northwest. Ooh, got a pretty good uptick in activity into uh, Vancouver Island area. Pretty good cluster of quakes here outside of Victoria. And also down into the Northern California region and Southern Oregon, right around the border here at the Southern end of the Cascadia. So movement to the North, movement to the South. Uh, some adjustment taking place down below the North American continent there in that subduction zone. Uh, what else we got here, folks? I'm really surprised we haven't seen any further um, surface quaking with that activity today. Looks like just a couple small quakes down, uh, way down below 14 to 18 kilometers, but all the volcanoes along the Cascades in Northern California looks pretty quiet. No microquakes to report. All right, folks, have a good night. Please stay safe out there. It is a crazy, crazy weekend. Let me tell you, I am uploading a video here pretty soon of a drive around of Lake Tahoe. Uh, I know a lot of people are asking me, well, how, how do you get up there? You know, we're waiting to get home. How come you, how come you can be up there? Well, I do journalism. I cover stories. I have credentials to get me into places where news and media are allowed to cover stories like that. Yes, it sucks, but the town of Lake Tahoe, South Lake Tahoe is untouched, untouched. I didn't see any major fires around it. Yes, it's smoky. A couple spotty fires, a couple small ones outside of town. Um, yes, there was some structure loss um, out on Highway 50, heading back down towards Sacramento, uh, a couple miles outside of Lake Tahoe, right around the, uh, oh, that ski park that's up there. I can't remember the name of it, just to the west of the ski park. Yes, there was uh, a numerous amount of uh, structures that were lost and surprisingly, quite a few that were saved. I seen some stuff out there that just blows me away. Um, it's like, how in the heck did this structure get untouched? Untouched completely while everything around it is gone. It doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. Look for that video here within the next hour or so, folks. I am uploading it. Um, you know, I go up there to cover the story, to provide the story, not only for, for this channel, but for other means. And um, it looks good up there. There's lots of law enforcement patrolling the area. Nothing's getting stolen. Nothing's getting broken into. Everyone's houses are still standing up there. Um, I don't, I can't say for certain, but I didn't see any major fire. Just some spot fires around the region of Lake Tahoe that were being put out. So that's good news. But uh, you know, I, I, I got a lot of comments and negativity about, you know, how come I'm up there? You know, why am I talking about being hungry and, and why am I acting like it's a like it's a vacation or a tour? It's just, you know, it's just it's my mindset of trying to keep positive while I'm up there. Yes, it sucks big time. I could be dramatic and and say how horrible it is up there, but in all honesty, Lake Tahoe is untouched right now. So, we got to keep positive. I was super hungry at the time too. And I didn't eat until a few hours later after that. Nothing's open. But anyway, guys, just kind of wanted to throw that out there. I know a lot of people, um, you know, it's really, they live up in Lake Tahoe. It's a town of 23,000 people. Major tourist town. But, you know, I went up there to provide a story for the channel and get coverage. And that's exactly what I did. So I know a lot of people are sensitive about that. It's a beautiful community. Absolutely stunning. And uh, I believe it's going to make it. Prayers, and I hope that it does. Like I say, there's no major fire around it. Stuff going to the north and stuff going further to the um, east and southeast. 
All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe out there. We will chat you guys another time. Um, sun's looking a little active when it, when it comes to the sunspots. Got uh, looks like quite a few sun solar flare potential facing Earth directly uh, over the next couple days here. So we'll be providing an update a little bit later on for that. Have a good night, guys. Stay safe. Enjoy your holiday weekend. Peace out.